Doctor, what do you Yeah, I think the question is about osteopenia. So osteopenia is, the, is, is what we see when the bone uh, density starts to be lost before we ac actually get to the stage of osteoporosis. And, and that's actually a great question. I know there's a lot of treatment being done at the osteopenia stage. I actually find that to be a good stage to start to build those lifestyle practices, to get the regular exercise, to make sure your vitamin D is optimized, and watch that DEXA scan, that's how we measure bone density, increase. Uh, I, I think one of the most important things that, that I do in my practice is calculate a FRAX score. F-R-A-X. Uh, that's from the World Health Organization that combines the studies and, and gives people a, a realistic uh, and true assessment of what their risk of fracture is over the next 10 years. And using that information, you can make those decisions as to whether uh, medication is an option for you. Uh, but I think too often we, we just kind of take that uh, prescription and fill it without really understanding what those risks are. Because there are some side effects of that medication. Uh, there's a, you know, some, uh, an incidence of jaw necrosis or breaking down of jawbone uh, with those medications. They certainly do, uh, can increase bone density, but we want to use them when they're really, really necessary. And I think that discussion with your doctor should happen uh, anytime that, that's, uh, that's an issue. And Gail, is this something that your doctor has prescribed for you? I have been taking Avista for years. Okay. And I recently heard a discussion on NPR that the term osteopenia is not actually a medical diagnosis. Okay. It is a term that was applied to everything other than osteoporosis. Hmm. So I'm wondering if I actually need to be treated for... I would imagine that probably depends on what your doctor in your case history would involve. Well, I mean, I think it's that. I think it's, I think it's also, um, you know, estimating that FRAC score so that she mm -hmm. has a true understanding of what your risk of fracture is. And you can decide the risks and benefits of the medication, the risks and benefits of, of not using the medication. But no doubt you want to also be implementing those strategies to help strengthen the bones on your own. Uh, and then watching that DEXA score so that, uh, you know, if you're seeing improvement, obviously that, that's uh, heading in the right direction.